What are your actions proving, babe? What are your actions? That's what it is. Action. Action. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Taylor. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, if you're not new, hey girl, welcome back. I missed you. Did you miss me? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't leave me hanging, okay? This is not a one-sided relationship. You gotta talk back to me, okay? <laughs> so as you can tell by the title of the video, it's a get ready with me. I went ahead and snagged a few new products recently that I wanted to try with you guys, of course, because y'all my y'all my people. So we gotta try it out together and give our honest opinion. Spoiler alert, okay, off the rip, it eats. They all eat. <laughs> but you'll have to finish watching the video to see which ones are new and which ones are not. As always, everything that I've used will be linked down below. Disclaimer, I did not have like a written out plan about what we were gonna be talking about. I just let the Holy Spirit flow and go and just do all the things. So prayerfully, this video is not too long, but <laughs> we just talked about some random things. Your girl's turning 30, you know, growing up in a, in a white area, not realizing your beauty you know confidence all the things so be sure to like comment subscribe let me know if you have any differing opinions if you agree if you disagree i would advise you to get a snack get some makeup work with me come with me on this journey <laughs> of getting ready we're getting ready together okay but yeah i love you thank you guys so much for watching and supporting me and without further ado let's jump right into the video okay so let's jump right in so by the title you can tell that I'm gonna be trying some new makeup. So all the new makeup, I'll go ahead and mention, but the other stuff that I've used before, I'm just gonna link it down below, just so we can like stay on time, because I don't want this video to be super long, but you know, we're gonna let the Holy Spirit do what he do, okay? Primer, well, the first primer I'm gonna use is this Refi Glow and Sculpt, because I wanted to have like a, a glow <laughs> underneath. I'm gonna go on with this one first. So yeah, I've been in a little bit of a shopping mood. It, the time makes a lot of sense. My birthday is at the end of March. Shout out to my March babies. And my brother, he sent me some money a little early, right? So I said, oh, I need to go pick up some stuff. And I've been seeing like a few things here and there that I wanted to try out. So I figured like, why not try them out with you guys? Danessa Myrick's uh, Blur Bomb. And I have a photo shoot actually to bring in my 30th birthday. What the heck? Anyway, we, let's just bypass that part, right? Because I don't understand how I got here. <laughs> Shout out to all my 94 babies. Because it's our time. We're about to just take off. I just feel like we're about to take off into like this next season. And it's just... <laughs> it's really wild to me, honestly. Truthfully. Um, but we're here for it. I'm grateful to be alive. People say, oh my god, 30, oh my gosh. I'm like... I'm excited because 20s is cute and all, but you really don't know what you're doing for real. <laughs> so I just feel like 30 is really about to be my jam. Also, I never posted about this product. <laughs> and I told y'all I was going to, so we're just gonna talk about it now. I love it, I love it. Hold on, what do you see? Oh, got a little hair there. I know I didn't give you guys an official post, but let's just talk about it really, really quickly, okay? If I had to rank them all, I would put the road first, then the topicals, then the summer Fridays. Simply based on longevity, moisturization, and um, I think accessibility is really important. I feel like the summer Fridays is like more accessible. Like you can just go to the store and pick it up. I just feel like these two products to me are better and are more bang for your buck than this one. These two are both $16 and then this one is $24. Um, the ounce on this one is 0. 0.5, right? 0. 0.5? Yeah, this one is 0. 0.5, this tropical is 0. 0.5, the uh, road lip treatment is 0. 0.3, but with this one, it's a treatment, so it's more so like a mask. I would say to put this one on like right before you go to bed, or if you know you're not about to eat anything for a little while, and just let this really sit and like do the darn thing, because this one really does make your lips a lot softer, and it has a beautiful shine. I love the shine on this one as well, and this one actually lasts in my opinion, longer than the Summer Fridays. I love the Summer Fridays because it really is moisturizing and I love the color um, range that it has. So I highly suggest it, but it's $24 and this one, these two are 16. And so I just feel like, I just feel like it should last longer. I find myself reapplying this one more, which means you're gonna have to buy more of the product, which means you're gonna get addicted. <laughs> 
and I'm fine with it because I really do like the product. They have a really great color selection and then they, it is very moisturizing. I, I thoroughly enjoy it. So this is my ranking, Road Topicals and then Summer Friday. So yeah, let's get back to our makeup. <laughs> So let's go ahead and color correct. This is the e.l.f. Camo Color Correct in the shade orange. But yeah, so back to the birthday. <laughs> I'm headed to Raleigh this weekend to do a photo shoot for my 30th birthday. <laughs> I am flabbergasted, to say the least, but I am very grateful and blessed to even be able to say I'm 30 because not everyone makes it, you know? Life really is a gift, so we should very much so treat it as such. Celebrate when, you know, when you feel led to celebrate and bask in the moment all the time. Not to say that you need to have a party or a photo shoot or anything like that, but, you know, just celebrate your life. Because there are people out here who died way before you, and they would have loved to have a birthday. You know, like Brianna Taylor would have loved to turn 30, but she didn't get the opportunity. So I'm just grateful to be here. I'm just grateful to be alive regardless of how old I turn because I'm sorry the older you are like you be knowing stuff <laughs> guys I'm trying to fix the lighting situation this is why I need to film more because I can't be playing around with this when it's time to sit down and get the stuff done <laughs> so I look a little orange do I look orange I don't know whatever you guys are gonna get the content regardless okay because you deserve it oh my back <sighs> let's talk about that okay <laughs> in my older age because i'm not gonna say i'm old because if i ask an older person they'd be like child sit down for a while and i'll be like okay <laughs> so what i will say is that your body i don't know how old you are whoever you are on the other side of the camera but boy 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 if you're younger than 30 take care of your body okay and i'm talking about from all aspects like make sure you're stretching make sure you're meditating Make sure you're doing all the things because it's crazy out here. This is my NARS Laguna Bronzer in the shade four. Yes, Laguna four, I need this to contour. But yeah, so I'm having a photo shoot and this essentially is me practicing because I don't wear makeup anymore. I don't know, I don't, let's talk about it. I've been in a little bit of a funk, not even a funk. I guess more emotional. Over like in February, I feel like I was very emotional. Comment down below if you can relate. I was in my emotional bag and I just <laughs> couldn't be bothered. And also I realized like, okay, I attempted to fix the lighting. <sighs> you guys, <laughs> whatever. I think it's me. Like, I feel like if I was, maybe I need to push the camera back. <laughs> Is that better? I just, <laughs> any whom. I don't even know what I was talking about. I don't know how old you are, whoever you are watching this. Hi. Um, but if you are younger than the age of 30, honestly, regardless of how old you are, just make sure you're taking care of your body because the older I'm getting, the more time it takes to like warm up, you know? I guess the warm up and the preparation for whatever is happening is super important. And so in this season, I feel like that's what I've been learning. And I told you guys like, I don't know, in February, it, I was very emotional and not like, I don't wanna say it was bad cause I don't think it's bad to show your emotions. I think it's a beautiful thing when you can like show your emotions in a freeing and healthy way. So I'm like, I'm not gonna say it was a bad emotion. It was just like something I was not prepared for. Like, I'm like, what is happening? Why? <laughs> why am I crying? Like, why do I feel like life is lifing more than it already lifes? You know what I'm saying? It's like, life be life in, but gee, golly gee, Wilkers, like, <laughs> trying to take me out or something? <laughs> and it's like nothing major happened to the point where I should have even been that pressed, I guess you could say. So comment down below if February had you kind of in your feelings, a little emotional. Um, you weren't in that alone. There was something happening, a change was coming. <laughs> Let's take a pause on the emotional talk. I am trying out the About Face foundation. I got it in the shade D2 Olive. I saw Jackie Ina talking about this and did I need it? Absolutely not, but I wanted to try it. And I think I told you guys that my older brother has sent me some money for my birthday. I was like, bet, he want me to invest in my business. <laughs> and so I'm like, I have to film with it to make it worth it. 
but yeah this is she i love the packaging very cute coverage meets skincare in this skin optimizing foundation formulated with powerful ingredients like blue agave winter green chlorophyll known to help hydrate balance and smooth skin buildable breathable medium coverage delivers a long wear second finish skin vegan and cleanly formulated cute okay so we're gonna try her out i don't know if the shade is right jackie used a different shade but based on my oh okay big doe foot applicator based actually let's apply our, our concealer really quickly we can let it sit yeah house labs per usual i'm gonna do my concealer and then apply the foundation yeah per my fenty foundation i have more of an olive undertone so yeah hopefully this is the shade we're looking for okay and then i'm gonna go in with the fenty beauty concealer i talked about this in a previous video y'all speaking of previous video i don't want to keep talking about it because i need to just shut up and do it when i tell y'all there is no reason why it should take me a month to film a video i mean to edit a video that is absurd so that is something that i've been trying to like figure out in this little off season that i've been having like what is going on this procrastination Ooh, okay this procrastination has to stop honestly let me not even get crazy and act like i know that this is my shade let me blend this in quickly <laughs> because and let me not do my whole face and then be like oh okay I'm not mad at her. I think she's cute. Okay, 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 okay. Let me finish, let me do the other side. Let me finish my whole face and then I'll, then I'll be able to judge it because I feel as though I have a yellow undertone and with this being olive, I don't want it to make me look um, ashy. But in my Fenty, I wear a 425, which has an olive undertone. So I'm like, maybe like when it sets and like I do the whole face, it'll, you know, hit the way I want it to. So we're just gonna try it out. That's why I feel like it's super important just to try stuff out and like let it rock for a little bit because it starts to change color. Because when I first put it down, I was like, ooh, I don't know. But now that I'm like letting it sit and like set in the skin, I feel like it's gonna give us what we want. So we're gonna let that hang out. I feel like it's a good shade. But again, we'll we'll talk about it later, babe. But yeah, so your girl's turning 30. And last month was like hella emotional. But I'm grateful. Like I'm just super, super grateful to even be here. I will say it's very eye-opening because if you would have asked me at like 27 what I'll be doing for my 30th birthday, honey, in Dubai, okay? Shaking shaking it like a salt shaker. In the name of Jesus though, like not too much, not too much. <laughs> like doing big things. Y'all when I tell y'all I'm keeping it, I'm not gonna say I'm keeping it super low key, but I really am, like I'm not leaving the state. <laughs> I'm keeping it super low key. It's just like in this season of my life, like this whole entrepreneurial lifestyle and the fact that I left my like, you know, consistent paycheck <laughs> to just, focus on my plan a it's just it's just different you know it's different and i will say like god has just been unveiling a lot of different things for me so you know working on bad habits because like y'all me and budgets and money like we gotta go together better than we do like <laughs> i just budgets and i we just we be trying to kick it but <clears throat> I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. Okay. It's not like I've never learned about budget. It's just, I think it's a difference between knowing something and actually doing something. And I just have never been held accountable by anybody. Like, of course, I'm trying to keep myself accountable, but child, I give myself, I'm like, it's fine. It's on sale. <laughs> and that is not okay. Because my mom did teach us about money. I watched so much Dave Ramsey. So much Tiffany, like, 
budget mom like all the people okay there's no reason why i'm not doing the things other than the fact that there's something deeper you know there's something deeper there and so i will say like in therapy and just over the course of living for real you just start to learn a lot about yourself and so i'm just learning by myself and why i do the things that i do even when i don't want to do them <laughs> oh the face is sitting is it just me or am i just sitting like, next new product is the patrick ta double take cream and powder blush so i've been watching this guy and he's also on youtube painted by spencer oh my gosh when i tell you the boy be eating them faces up eating those faces up and it, it i i be flabbergasted i be flabbergasted he does a phenomenal job on like mature skin textured skin dark skin light skin. like he has the makeup thing down <laughs> and so he was actually using this color it's in the shade she's the moment so i'm excited to try this out so i went ahead and set the under eye with the fenty setting powder like y'all knew that y'all knew that you knew that babe so for what I told with this blush, you put the powder down first and then you use the cream as like a topper to give that skin like a, like a sheen or something. So I'm gonna pat that in. I'm gonna dust any excess off. You guys, the Makeup by Mario X Morphe brushes, they're so good, like, they're so good. Like I would highly suggest these brushes and they're very decently priced. So if you're on the market for some makeup brushes, you can go to your local Ulta or online and pick these up because they're so good. I'm using the A14 just to get that setting powder from under there. And it's just like so soft. It just helps it look super seamless. So just gonna throw that out there. But yes, so this color called She's the Moment. So it's like a corally pink in my opinion. I pray that it shows up. Oh. It's a little powdery, but I'm not afraid of a little fallout. To me, that just shows that it's pigment. Oh! Okay, let me, let me chill out, let me chill out. I was nervous! <laughs> I was nervous it wasn't gonna show up because it's pretty, it's a pretty pale, like, well not pale, it's a lighter pink, corally color, so I'm like, uh. You know, us brown skin girls, we gotta really fight for our rights sometimes. But no. Oh! Can you see? Ah! I'm obsessed. Oh my god. And I like to put it like up here. So I've been watching this girl. I'm not even gonna butcher her name. I'm gonna put a picture right here. I'm sure you guys have seen her. But she's pretty much going viral for her makeup routine. And I just, I watched it <laughs> earlier today to see like what I could add to mine. And she kind of puts the blush, which I was already kind of putting it up here, but she like really like works it up in there. And it really just like lifts that, lifts that cheek. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. If you can see this, this is my mirror, you guys. I have to, like, I have to have it this close. I'm sorry. So when I saw this color on Painted by Spencer's Instagram, he was like, oh, this is the color that he like tried out. He was like, oh no, these are gonna sell out. And this color in particular, it's gonna sell out. And when I went to Sephora, this was literally like the last one of this shade. And I'm like, oh honey, honey bunny, this is it. This eats down. The fact that I have a darker complexion and it's still showing up like, like this is, it makes me emotional. Can I put foundation up here? I don't even think I put foundation up on my forehead. But I kind of like it like this. I'm gonna just put a little bit of that blush in the temples. That was a little tidbit I learned from my girl. Just to bring the look together, make it real copacetic. But yes, that is phenomenal. Now, I don't know how to do this cream part but they said to, they said to put it on top to give it like a, a glow. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> cute, she's cute. I'm like so shocked that it showed up. I guess I shouldn't be shocked, but I am. So cute. OMG, I'm 
screaming. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with my contour, Fenty Beauty, Coco Naughty. My younger self, seeing my older self now, would be like, girl, I thought we was gonna be in Dubai and doing all the things. <laughs> Which of course would be nice. But I will say like, as you get older, you realize the important stuff. Just more important to just simply be alive these days and you know, doing what makes you happy regardless of what that looks like to other people. So it's like, things are not the way I would have thought, but I'm super grateful and I'm just super excited for what God has in store in the future. So it's like, as you get older, you really do. <laughs> it really is the little things, like it's not the money. Of course, money's nice, honey, because the bills be billing and you just be like, <sighs> what is going on? You no longer your parents' insurance and all the things, okay? If you are 26 and under, you better use every ounce of your parents' insurance. And if they wanna be mean <laughs> and kick you off before your time, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for you. But if you're on your parents' insurance, I need you, I need you to run it up for me. I need you to run it up because when you start, <laughs> this real world is real, <laughs> Like I said, it's a beautiful thing. I'm grateful to be alive. It really is the small things. It's funny, I was talking to my sister last night. We were just talking about how, you know, when you grow up in a predominantly white area, as a black girl, it's very easy for you to fall into the idea that you're unattractive. And my sister was like, are you unattractive or are you just black? <laughs> and when she said that, I'm like, you're onto something. First, that's a whole podcast in itself. Because when I tell y'all, sitting at 30, if I had the confidence that I have now, like in school, like middle school, high school, honey, I would have ran that place. <laughs> and not just that, what I didn't have friends in high school. Like I was pretty much friends with like everybody. Like I was friends with like the the nerds or the theater people or the you know the athletes. Like I was just cool with everybody because you know I don't believe in being a bully or I don't believe in you know treating people any different. I will say like being black kind of puts you in a whole different like box. And so when it came to like, you know, boyfriends and guys liking you and stuff like that, like I never experienced that. And unfortunately you start to think like, oh, I'm not that cute. And it's like, I never had low self esteem in the sense that I didn't think that I was beautiful because I was definitely blessed to have family and just like people in my life in general who always, you know, told me how beautiful I was and like spoke, you know, life and positive things over me. So I knew I wasn't ugly, but you really don't know how, I guess, and it doesn't even matter, right? Because it's society standard anyway, but I did not know that I was even cute. Like, like I knew it was cute for me, but I didn't know I was cute for the world because when you're growing up and everyone around you has boyfriends and are dating and doing all the things and you are in the house watching a Disney Channel original movie on a Friday night, you're like, maybe, you know, maybe I'm not that cute. Not even like not that cute, but you know, I just was not paying attention. I wasn't paying attention to no boy because the boys weren't paying attention to me. And then on top of that, you're the black girl. And in my area, like, you know, interracial dating, like I think there was like maybe one or two people. I think there was like one, maybe two couples that had like a white boyfriend and a black girlfriend. But the majority, it was like the black girl, all the black guys that we had at our school were dating white girls. So it was literally like, I, we're just here. <laughs> As a black girl, we're just here, we're here. And it wasn't until I got to college that I was like, oh, oh y'all, you like me? What you mean, what you mean? What are you talking about? I'm attractive, huh? I am? I mean, like I know I'm, you know, like I said, I knew I wasn't ugly, but I didn't know I was that cute. <laughs> so it really is about your environment. And it's just so funny how like growing up, you know, that can affect your confidence or like how outspoken or how you enter into a room, you know? I always knew I had a good personality so I could make friends with people, but I never, like people tell me that they're intimidated by me or like, like the idea of a guy being intimidated by me is so funny to me. Cause I'm like, me? Me? Moi? No. <laughs> and it wasn't until I got to college, like I said, and I got around, you know, I got around black people, okay? Or people of color. And I was like, oh, I'm attractive. I'm cute, like I'm really, really cute. 
And it's sad because of course you shouldn't have validation from other people, but okay, apparently like there's a statistic to say like for girls by the age of 12, they've lost like half their confidence or something like that. So it's like, it's not unusual, but it really is about environment. Like if you are in an environment where you are not appreciated, you will start to think that you lack value. And it's just so not true. Girl, you're probably the cutest thing walking, most intelligent thing talking. You just in the wrong environment, babe. You just gotta, you just gotta hold on and get with your people. Get around people who are gonna make you feel beautiful and confident and like bring out the best in you. And then of course, y'all know I gotta bring the good Lord into it cause it's all about him. He created you regardless of what you look like, you know? You were made in his image. You are his child. He created you to look just the way you look. So you're beautiful, you know? Cause I know like there's a whole thing about pretty privilege and you know, you don't get it because and I'm like, Honey. I was also talking to my friend about how like it's harder for attractive people to find just friends because everybody just wants to have sex. <laughs> Everyone is lustful. But yeah, I was talking to my friend and we were just talking about how like, like I would love to have friends of the opposite sex, but because the time that we're in is just so like, everybody's just lustful. <laughs> you know, they'll see a pretty girl and they just be like, oh, I want your body. And I'm like, no, I want to be your friend. Like, you know, like when, when guys will come up to you and be like, oh, I got a boyfriend. They'd be like, you can't have friends? And you'd be like, no, I can't have friends. Like, I'm in the season like, yeah, I can, be, I can have friends. I can only have friends. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want you to want to jump my bones. Like, I know as a male, it's probably harder for them to like deal with that. But I promise you, like in this day, like in the season that I'm in right now, I just want friends. Just don't. Unless God puts it in my ear. Like, hey, that's your husband. Then okay, but can we just be friends first? Like, even my husband, we gotta be friends first. Like, just don't even make it romantical. Cause then I'm gonna get stressed out. I don't even wanna make it romantical. Like, let's just keep it friendly and then if God leads us to a romantical thing, then okay. But just, let's just not start out there, right? Like, I know I'm attractive. I know you're attractive. We could just be attractive friends. You know, let's, let's change the narrative. I feel like that's just the season I'm in right now. That's what 30 is. I just want to be friends, okay? I just wanna be friends, <laughs> nothing else, okay? And it's just also funny how like, now as of my 20, 21 self, I will have a child right now. And it's just so funny, cause in the place I'm in at this moment, it's giving, you can't afford yourself. <laughs> so how you have a baby? But of course, like that was with the, with the underlying notion that I would be married. But sometimes, child, just cause you married don't mean you got enough money for no child. So it's just so funny how like, as you get older, you really start to see how life works. How, you know, things are expensive and babies are expensive. And it's funny cause I was talking to one of my friends. I was telling her, I was like, uh-uh. If somebody has a child, you need to be a hundred thousand here. And if you have two children, you need to be a millionaire. I don't care. I don't care. Like it could sound however it wants to sound. I just feel like for me, that's, that's just for me. You do what you wanna do, but for me. Cause if it's me coming into a relationship where I have no children other than a dog and some student loan debt, <laughs> then, and you coming with a baby because you never know what's gonna happen. And if that child needs special attention, special care, you know, they wanna go to college and all this other stuff, like child, they wanna do sports. They wanna go with their friends. Like to be able to for me, a child yourself, like, and then we wanna have kids, right? Cause what, you're done? No, no, oh no, oh no. I'm like two kids? Oh yeah, you need a you need a million dollars. You need a million dollars. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's just how I feel. Okay, like I said, you do you. That's just how I feel. And on top of it all, I don't have kids, so it really is like if I'm gonna sacrifice, you know, my alone time with my husband or spouse, should he have a child or two? Two is the cap. If you have more than two kids, then no, not for me, right? No, no. It'd be different. I feel like it'd be different if I had a child, but I'm like, I don't have a child and then you want me to welcome three children that are they with the same mother? You know, like, girl, 30 is crazy. Cause people got kids and it's fine. Like, okay, I watched 16 and pregnant. I know it's, you know, you're young and dumb. Cause if you have a child as a teenager, you would just be young and dumb and you wouldn't have wished that on yourself. But, you know, I pray that you don't regret your baby because it's a blessing. Like children are a blessing. 
above all else. That's why, you know, I wouldn't, especially at this age, I wouldn't turn my nose up at someone who had a child. But like I said, the finances need to be financing, okay? Because I wanna go on an extravagant honeymoon. How are we gonna do that if Timmy has to go to class? <laughs> How are we gonna do that if Timmy has a recital that costs like 12 grand, you know? Cause he's a prodigy, period. <laughs> look, and I'm an entrepreneur, and I'm still trying to figure this thing out. So don't look to me, okay? <laughs> ooh, ooh. Honestly, that's probably why I'm not married. God said, baby, you gotta get your house in order. And I'm like, I do, Lord, I do. <gasps> it's funny because my friend and I, we were so pressed about like, oh my gosh, like God, where's our husband? Like, oh my goodness. And at this age, people were like, oh, so you're gonna get married, da da da, where's your husband, da da da, you're single, da da da. I'm like, pray about it. Don't ask me where my husband is. I, how would I know? How would I know? Oh, okay, don't, don't get cussed out right now. Cause I'm a little lonely, but I know God's timing is the best timing. And he's been telling me like, prepare, just prepare. So girl, if you're my age and you're like wanting to be in a relationship, prepare. Because he's probably closer than you think for one. And then for two, for the people I know who are married, like close to my age, you need to enjoy your single season because this is that's the only time you get. Like after you get married, Lord willing, you're not gonna do it again. So you're never gonna be single again. And then if you have children, oh you're never gonna be alone again. That little crumb snatcher is gonna outlive you. So they're forever your responsibility. <laughs> I'm just gonna enjoy our time because when it's over, it's gonna be over. And of course I know I'm gonna like love it, but it's like, girl, some things you just never get back. Like, you know, being a teenager, being in college, like that will never happen again. So it really is important to stay in the moment. That's what 30 is teaching me. Like stay in the moment, bask in the glory of God in that season, okay? Cause we always wanna be doing our next thing and our next thing. It's like, no babe, this is the miracle. Right now, here in this moment, li listen. Okay, when I have my little crumb snatchers, I'm not gonna have that piece unless they're gone. Then they may be calling me and stuff. Mom, mom, what? What do you need? <laughs> and it's funny because I feel like I'm getting a little taste of it because I volunteer at church and I volunteer with the kids. And when I tell you, they're like, Taylor, Taylor, Miss Taylor, Taylor, Taylor. I'm like, <laughs> Granted, it's a lot of lot more of them, but it's just an eye opener to like how needy kids are. Not needy in a bad way, like they're kids, like they need guidance. I'm gonna do a mid set. I pray that it's like translating on camera because I'm really, I'm enjoying the fade. She's eating down. I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes to prep for our strip lash. But yeah, I say all that to say, in these past 29 years, I've just learned a lot about myself and how, for one, time flies, and for two, like, don't worry about your next, okay? Just enjoy the right now, because the next is just gonna be more work, okay? Because think about all the time and energy it took you to get to this point. Now, you're gonna have to double it. <laughs> I was watching a sermon by Sarah Jakes. I'll have it linked down below. But she was just talking about how like, sometimes you'll be praying for a miracle or you'll be praying for something, not realizing when you get that something, you're gonna have to like work extremely hard to sustain that something. So why would the lash, why would I cut the lash to stop back here? That's crazy. Anyway, we gonna make it do what it do. What the heck? Why would I cut these lashes like this? <laughs> Are they too short? Yes, but these are ones I already used. So I'm like, why would I do that? You guys, why would I cut these lashes like this? Why would I do that? Why would I do that? So I'm gonna take an individual, try to fix it. <laughs> I'm genuinely cracking up, honestly. Like, what, Taylor? 
what stop it right now but yeah i was saying um i was watching the sermon and she was just saying how you're praying for a miracle not realizing when you get that miracle you have to work 10 times harder maybe not 10 times harder but you have to work harder than you already are working and i don't know about you but i feel like i'm working so hard i feel like i'm working so hard i'm so tired over here praying for a husband honey he's gonna have requirements and you're gonna have things that you need to be doing okay how's that what do y'all think can you tell that the lash was too short i feel like you can't i feel like that eats yes Yee. what was the thing and then you know you have your babies if that's what you want to do because let, let's just make it clear just because you are a woman and just because you are a wife does not mean that you have to be a mother okay don't let people bully you into having children because per my mama and some other moms that <laughs> i've encountered i've heard more recently they're like don't have kids don't have kids one of my friends mom she said she's like it's just like a piece of your heart is just out in the world and she has like a few kids i want to say three and she was just saying how it's like it's very emotional like a mother's love is super serious so if that's not on your heart to do and you know you just feel forced by society baby don't worry okay for the person out here praying to have children you have to take care of those children and nurture their feelings and emotions and you don't want to traumatize them okay because then they're going to end up on love is blind expressing their trauma and being judged by the world <laughs> like can we talk about it so comment down below if you have been watching love is blind but i'm talking in particular like for one everyone has childhood trauma everyone has something that they're healing from and or someone that they're healing from okay shout out to ariana <laughs> yes and <laughs> i think it was a beautiful thing that he was able to recognize that he has trauma from his childhood and trying to expose it before it becomes a thing that takes bravery and it takes extreme humility because as a man like you don't want to put your flaws and like issues out there especially like for the world to see honey you letting the world judge you oh okay period but i just thought that was an amazing thing and it was like just a testament to being honest and open and wanting to have something long term with somebody like i'm sorry his wife should know his trauma oh i didn't know i was going there but i mean i could go there okay i didn't know i was going there wait 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 i don't know if i want to go all the way there though but yeah i appreciated clay for exposing his trauma i just feel like for one his wife should know about his trauma in your childhood as well as a therapist he definitely needs to go to therapy had he become a serial cheater which he said he did not want to do people be like oh my god why is what is wrong with him why why is he cheating why is he doing all this other stuff not realizing that he's freaking traumatized and has childhood things that he has to heal from something that he learned from his dad Un unbeknownst to i'm sure his dad didn't want to teach him how to cheat or teach him to be a cheater but i'm sorry like if your dad acts a certain way it's highly likely that you will act that way even if it's something that you don't even realize that you're doing and of course you can change behavior but you have to get to the root of why you even started it in the first place and like i said i just think it was so beautiful and so brave of him to expose his traumas expose his flaws on national television and you know to be like hey like you know this is my life but i don't want it to continue to be my life i just want to you know he has a desire to do well and i feel like if you have the desire that to me is a beautiful it's a beautiful thing because he doesn't even want to cheat there are men out here that will make excuses saying like hey, i'm a man I'm a... what are you crazy you think and i'm a woman i'm a woman so it's like you be thinking that women are on your body honey the men are on my body and some of them will probably be on my body because of who you are so i hate that it... i'm a man you know i'm a man no actually you're a boy and your age makes you think that you're a man, but you act like a boy. What are your actions proving, babe? What are your actions? That's what it is. Action. Action. <laughs> so I feel like that was an amazing thing that he did. And y'all know I'll be in my Bible. And I'm in the New Testament right now. Jesus is literally talking about how things that are in the dark will be revealed. 
like anything that you're trying to conceal or hide it will it was going to show up so it's like that trauma would have shown up regardless and he would have had to explain himself either now or later because you can't hide anything anything that's happened to you anything that's going on it'll come out like maybe not now but eventually i thought it was a beautiful thing and i'm wishing them all the best and I was literally on Instagram and one of the comments was like, you know, cheating is hereditary, right? And I literally almost lost. <laughs> Are you dumb, stupid, or slow? Cheating is hereditary? No, that's a spirit that is on him and we need to pray for him. Like, girl, what? Girl, your trauma is because you are traumatized. Cheating is hereditary. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? So you're telling me it's a gene? It's a gene? No, babe, it's probably a generational curse. And lucky for you, sweetie. Look, I'm over here talking to the girl. Lucky for you, sweetie. <laughs> That's not your husband anyway, so you don't even have to worry about it. So keep your opinion to yourself, okay? And pray for my good king and my good queen. Like, but yeah, I was so irritated when I saw that. I'm like, y'all better leave that man alone. He is doing his best. He seems like a really hardworking, sweet guy. He over here bringing up scripture. I said, oh. Not the Proverbs, honey. He done brought pro Proverbs? Hmm. Hmm. Like, that's how I know. That's how I know. My husband, he gonna bring me a scripture. Okay? He gonna bring me a scripture and I'm like, <laughs> and it gotta be real specific, right? Only God gonna know. Only God gonna be able to tell him the scripture. So, if there's a man seeing this and you think, uh, what's the scripture? Because if you come at me with some Philippians 4.13, <laughs> I'm gonna need you to exit stage left, okay? <laughs> Cause it ain't. <laughs> ah. but yeah, let's pray for our, let's pray for marriages, all right? Make sure if you have married friends and you wanna get married, just pray for strength and clarity and, and know that that's a blessing, okay? For he who finds a wife finds a good thing, okay? And my sis, like, prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. You gonna be a wife? Okay. Did you read Proverbs 31? 10 through 31? Okay. Go read it. Go become her. You already are her, but to become something, it's a whole different ball game. It's a lot of work, baby. It's a lot of work. <laughs> you guys, I didn't gave like a look that I was not even anticipating giving, but I mean, if this is who I am, then this will all be. Y'all, I crack myself up. Do I crack y'all up the way I crack myself up? Comment down below. <laughs> I'm just a goofball, you know? That's why people say they're intimidated by me. I'm like, how? You don't even know me, bro. How are you intimidated by someone you don't even know? The frick, okay? And speaking of intimidation, let me tell y'all something real quick. And I, I don't know how long this video is gonna be, but we're just catching up Kiki and doing our makeup anyway. And I pray you're sitting here doing your makeup with me and not just staring at me. Like we're having a moment, babe. Like, what's tea? Like, come on, talk to me. But yeah, there was this lady that I used to um, work with and she was like, yeah, when I first met you, I was a little intimidated. I, like when I saw you walk in, I was like, ooh, she does not like me. And in my mind, I'm like, how did you think you, I didn't like you if I never even spoke to you? What? That's crazy to me. Like, ooh, you're intimidating. I didn't even talk to you, babe. Mind you, she's white. So what, if anybody should be intimidated, it's me of you. Because history shows me that you could say and do anything and I'm just gonna have to take it. Luckily, mama ain't raised no punk. I am rarely intimidated by anybody because I'm a follower of the most high God and he told me don't be afraid, so. And that's what I wish too. I wish in my younger years, I was like, I was in the church and I was, you know, I believe in God and got baptized when I was, I wanna say 12 or 13. One of those two and I just wish I was in my word the way I'm in my word now. That's why I know when I have children, like, no, we gonna be in the word, honey. And it's not even about like the religious aspect of it. Like, oh, follow the rules, go to church, do all these things. It's like, no, you need to have a relationship with God so he could talk to you and you could be in alignment with what he's trying to get you to do. Cause I 
time may want you to do one thing but if god don't want you to do that then you need to let me know and obviously like in this season i'm making sure to like pray that everything i'm doing is in alignment with god and i'm not like doing operating out of ego and fleshly desires because boo they've been there done that failed it was hurt <laughs> Seriously. Seriously. The heartbreak be real. That's what I'm like, child, you need to listen to God the first time. Seek first the kingdom so all else will be added, okay? Because when I tell you no one is gonna love you the way God loves you, okay? Not no man, not no mama, not no husband, not no friend, no one. No one is gonna love you like God loves you. So it's like, you might as well just talk to him about it, baby. Whatever it is you want, as long as it's in his will, it's gonna be yes and amen. And the crazy thing about that, even if it's not in his will, and you just go after it, you still gonna get it. The consequences, I don't know. I don't know, sis. I don't know what's gonna happen when you do. But just do your best to stay in alignment with God. Cause he knows you best. He knows what you need, he knows what you want. He wants to give you everything that you want. Sometimes you don't need that. So it's like, just pray that you are in alignment with his will and that his desires fill your heart. That way you don't even have to worry about wanting nothing that is not for you. Mm -mm. I'm gonna take my Beauty by Chi Chi lip liner. You guys, I promise all these videos won't be an hour long. <laughs> I pinky promise. Pinky swear. I have to wipe my lip before I go because I am peeping hair. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, another new product I bought is this Juvia's Place, the Nude Moths Velvety Matte Lipstick in the shade Chic. I saw another makeup girly on Instagram use this color and it was stunning. And so, oh! Juvia. 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 And it's crazy because I could tell that it was unsteady that's fine we're gonna take her back to Ulta and try again but I'm gonna use her right now but that is no bueno Final set, Charlotte Tilbury. <laughs> First of all, this lip eats. It's like the perfect pink, like everyday pink. I want it a little brighter. In that center. A little pouty look like. Mm. I didn't get what I want. Mm. <laughs> Y'all, we did that. Mm. When the pictures come out, we're gonna be like, we go, girl. Hmm. And this is why I need to get back into my bag using my gifts because this face eats down. Okay. I'm loving all the new products that we tried out. I'm definitely gonna keep them around and see, you know, if they're gonna be like in the holy grail conversation. But as of right now, I'm enjoying them. I'm enjoying them. We need to go get another lipstick. I mean, I guess I could put some, it really is just a matter of putting some super glue. Maybe I'll hot glue it. Come on. Like, it's good, but it just wasn't sturdy. Honestly, I think I'll probably just, I'll probably just fix it myself. <laughs> Cause you know I'm an independent woman, okay? <laughs> so yeah, other than the fact that this wasn't attached. I love this color, loving the foundation. Okay, it was $22 from Ulta. Love it. Patrick did his big one because the blush, like the fact that you can see it on it's just so cute. And I just feel like it's gonna be perfect for the spring summertime because it's very like it has that corally color. I will say 
I don't know if I will end up using it for my shoe just because it's a little pinker than up here. Or maybe I'll add some more pink into the eye. Oh, maybe, dare I, hold up. Y'all, I just got an idea. Oh, that just did something. That just, let me show y'all. Let me give y'all up close and personal. Can y'all even see that? And that is it for the final look, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this little get ready with me. I very much so rambled. I don't really... <laughs> I really didn't have a plan for what this video was going to look like, so editing Taylor, good job, girl. <laughs> and thank you guys so much for making it to the end. I don't know how long it's going to be, but by the looks of it, it may be a little, it was a, it was a good little minute. <laughs> As always, I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, so much for supporting, so much for coming back. And just know that I'm praying for you guys. I love you guys. God loves you so much more. Um, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.